Hello, Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Dr. Nida Sheikh from Dento Magic. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're already been a Dento Magic family, then welcome back. In today's video, I will be busting the most common dental myth. If you are interested in such video, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and be the Dento Magic family. So, let's start. Can you guys guess what my patient recently asked me? No. My patient asked me if charcoal toothpaste is better than the normal toothpaste. The answer is for him and for you guys. The charcoal toothpaste is the worst. Yes, you heard me right. The charcoal toothpaste is worst because it is way too ab abrasive. It is so abrasive. As charcoal toothpaste speed up the process of whitening, it also speed up the process of scratching the enamel. It will grit your brushing. It is like brushing your teeth with the sand. A little bit of abrasivity and the particles are fine. But charcoal has a lot of abrasivity and the particles that may end in damaging your teeth. The normal toothpaste have a very very fine particles but charcoal is very very coarse. So mind before using it. Brushing your teeth with charcoal is like imagine you brushing your teeth with the sand and it is not only damaging your teeth but also underneath the layer of the enamel. The underneath the layer of the enamel is known as dentine which is yellow in color. For the time being your enamel may get whitened but it is getting wear off with time. So once it get weared off completely your dentine will be exposed. It will be completely yellow. It will be the worst and you will be having the nightmare of sensitivity. So I will recommend you not to I will say never use a charcoal toothpaste over any regular toothpaste. So don't use charcoal toothpaste as it is a myth, a complete myth. The next myth question is deep cleaning is better than regular cleaning. The answer is no, it's not better. It's different. So here's the thing. Deep cleaning is also known as SRP that is clean, scaling and root cleaning. That is only needed when you have a pocket or you have a gum disease. If you don't have any of these, then trust me, you don't need a deep cleaning. There is nothing to deep clean. So regular cleaning will do its work. You are just required to follow your dental routine, daily routine that is brushing, flossing and rinsing and that's it for you. So go for it. Don't think that deep cleaning would help you in any way if you are not having any pockets or gum disease or any other tooth problems. We as a dentist are also asked most frequently, does dental cleaning cause the gums to bleed? The answer is no. The dental clinic never cause gums to bleed. The gums bleed because they are infected, they are inflamed or they are having any diseases. The cleaning and flossing never cause gums to bleed. They only bleed because you are not doing cleaning and flossing routine enough to make them healthy. So once the dental cleaning is done, it's your responsibility to maintain your oral health and hygiene and follow your daily cleaning routine. If you have any more dental myths, then comment down below and let me know and I will answer them all. Switching on to the next myth that is my one of the patient asked me if fluoride is killing me. The answer is no, it is a complete myth. There are different facets of research on fluoride. The right amount and the amount of moderation of fluoride in the toothpaste or in the water is not killing you. Fluoride is the content that help you build your enamel strong, make your teeth stronger. 
it rebuilds your enamel and it also prevent caries and if you are interested in knowing more ways to prevent caries then go and watch my video on how to prevent caries and i will provide you the link in the description box also so fluoride is a good advantage for your oral health and hygiene taking it in moderation of amount it will help your oral health and hygiene to be good and make your teeth healthy so switching on to the next question the next question is if the alcoholic mouthwash is better than the normal mouthwash the answer is it is a myth the alcoholic mouthwash are not better than the normal mouthwash most of the people think that the burning sensation in their mouth are helping them to have a good hygiene and a good teeth but the alcohol eventually dries up your mouth which leads to the other dental problems like the major problem is the bad breath the second is the cavity so it's a myth alcohol mouthwash is not better than the normal mouthwash the next and the last myth that we are going to discuss is are dental x-rays harmful and bad for you the people are afraid of radiations and x-rays a lot but there are radiations everywhere if you fly in a plane you are getting exposed a lot more radiation as compared to the dental office if you're standing in front of the microwave if you're standing in front of the tv they are also having radioactive frequencies yes you are being exposed to radiations then also we as a dentist are intended to take the x-rays because in this era the modernization and the generation of x-rays have been modernized which will help us to peek into the teeth and know the minute details of the disease and the problem that you are having so it's very important for the good treatment planning to know the details and the problem the pros and the cons of the radiations and the x-rays at the dental office are minimum because you are protected with the cover while the x-ray is taken so you have to be carefree and we are not going to harm you in any way so it is a myth that we are exposing you to the radiations and giving you harmful radiations that will lead to other issues so trust us and just help us and we will give you a bright smile so those were the most common myths that are busted today by me and if you have any more myths and misconceptions then comment down below now so that's it for the video if you like the video then don't forget to give it a like and subscribe my channel and be the dento magic family till then stay safe be happy Allah Hafiz